Welcome, everyone, to Courageous Creative Conquerors. This is Jean Voice Dart. It's my belief that everyone has a gift of creative expression. We were born to express ourselves to stay healthy and happy. Whether you are planting a garden, writing a story, building a cabinet, sewing a scarf, or singing a song, what matters is expressing from the heart. And the creative and expressive arts are a healthy coping strategy that shifts us from trauma to triumph. So join me as we listen and learn key tips and techniques from our special guest and courageous creative conqueror. My special guest today is Nazanin Hamati, artist, creative writer, storyteller, and musician. Hi everyone, I'm Jean Boyle-Star, and I'm here with Nazanin Hamati. <laughs> I'm so happy to have you here. It's just been a joy watching you blossom and grow and sharing your artwork with the world on Instagram, and I'm happy to do more of that and introduce you to our community here and share some of your beautiful drawings. Welcome, Nazanin. Thank you so much, Jean. I'm happy also being uh, in this community, learning and growing and sharing my experience with others. Well, I don't, I mean, I think I'm learning from you, my friend. I think we're all learning a lot from you. And one thing that I love about you is you just always show up. You know, you you love doing what you do as a creative artist, and you do it. Do, do you draw almost every day or do some kind of art, whether it's singing? You're, you're also a singer, right? Yeah. Musician. Yeah, yeah. I, I sing sometimes and um, write stories, and uh, it's just ways of uh, expressing, taking photo, and making videos sometimes is a ways to express myself. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't do it every day, but I have planned to do once a week at least because- Yes. Oh, you're out and about taking photos, you're drawing, you're singing, you're just allowing yourself to express your feelings through the art. And, and I, I also love that when you come to our creative community calls, when you come to the group, you're out of all the people you are the one that really you know is not afraid to feel your feelings and to share like you're, you're saying well i was feeling kind of sad or whatever and i drew this and then you share it and i think that's just remarkable that's wonderful thank you so much <laughs> You certainly are, you know, what we, what we say, this, this sign back here, you are a courageous, creative conqueror. So it's great to have you here. Let's take a look at some of your um, illustrations. But before we do, I just want to ask you, have you always been creative when you were a child and growing up? Yes, uh, from childhood, I like to draw, go into nature, connect with nature, trees especially, and uh drawing i i like to have some um, peaceful place and uh, be uh, in a quiet place to start to draw and i was singing also when i was child not professionally just for myself and i enjoyed them yes um, yeah i think i was always like that so i also i just found out that you have a pad a sketch pad there with you can you hold it up and show us some of your recent sketches there it's the first one here. Yeah. It, that looks like, is that a watercolor? No, that's pen and ink. Yeah, it's a pen. It's ink, a pen. yeah. yeah. Um, um, wow, where is that? This is Den Haag. I was traveling Den Haag, and I was sitting somewhere and drawing, building there. And the water. I love it. <laughs> okay, and show us another one there. So you take this little sketch pad with you and you wander around. Yes, yes. This is from Aachen. It was last week I did it and uh, it was a big, big, tall bridge. But yeah, it's nice. 
That's yeah. fun to go out in nature and just sketch yeah. like that. That's so much fun. Yeah, that's great. This is, uh, I also recommend people um, to draw with the music also. I was in the concert uh, of a traditional musician and I just draw with that music to feel the music in the design. How does it look like? And then this image comes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at that. Yeah. It looks that. like there's a rose on top of his head. I don't know what's that. It's not complete yet. So I know, but it looks like a, a rose bloom and the petals of the rose are going out on the forehead there and coming down with the stem. Wow. Can you see that? Yes, I see that. Yeah. But I didn't talk like that. I know, I know, but it's really, really wonderful. So that was one of the musicians. Yeah, that was yeah. my music class. This was also another song from music concert. A concert. Wonderful. Okay, thank you for sharing a few of your sketches there on the sketch pad and inspiring people to go out. Just go out and bring your pad with you and, and draw what you see. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, here we are. So look at this. This is so interesting. And tell us what you're using. Is it colored pencil and ink? Yes, this is colored pencil and uh, um, ink, yes. And um, so it was uh, my first drawing this year that I start to uh, I mean, not this year, from summer, I start to, uh, I have some intuition that I should do, uh, bring this uh, spiritual experience into the, um, into design or uh, singing or something. It was, it was a nudge that I had. And, yes. and then it was interesting when I start to draw this, I hadn't any idea, nothing. So I start to do contemplation uh meditation for a short while and then the uh, an image of circle came to my mind an image of angel came to my mind and in my vision and so i didn't know what is this angel <laughs> and i draw that and then later the idea comes okay this is hug angel and she told me the story that she had and uh, the story was she had three uh, six wings and uh, she could um, uh, flaps on top of each person's head that who is sad or, and uh, give and attract all of the love of the world to herself and that person can feel love. And uh, it's interesting when I share it with people, most of them, they told, oh, I want to, uh, to, uh, to have this kind of angel. Yeah. <laughs> so many people feel alone. And they want to have uh, this love and hug. You can, I mean, just for me, just there's a lot of elements in there. You know, sim a lot of your art is symbolic. I, you know, I love that. And a lot of your art is based on a spiritual experience. Yeah. yeah. But when I look at her eyes, and uh, there's just, there is a lot of love coming out of there, you know. And I notice that many of your drawings have this spiraling thing going on. Let's take a look at another one here. Okay, there, there we are with the spiraling out all over. Tell us about this. Yeah, after a while, uh, I, my line turned to this spiral form. I'm uh, singing Hugh, and um, one time in contemplation, I had, I saw Hugh form, uh, which is a mantra and it's like a spiral and mm -hmm. everything in the universe is like a spiral and this line uh, came to my uh, mind that i i can have this spiral line in my drawing and see if uh, it affects same when we are singing mantra or not so mm -hmm. this idea came so i started to use this uh, spiral line everywhere how and beautiful yes and i i um when I look at it, and you're a musician too, you're a musician and an artist, I see the artistry and I see sound because the spiraling for me feels like sound moving around, you know, vibration. So that's just really beautiful. It's, it's move, movement. Yeah. 
yeah. And this story is also uh, is about a tree that uh, is growing up and then after a while it grow a lot and it's in top of the uh, forest and just I remain uh, the eyes remain because I is symbol of seeing symbol of consciousness and all these bodies physical mental all disappear and just the vision remain and yes and the name of this is maple tree you said this is the you know what remains yeah just remarkable just remarkable yeah okay here we go and here's another tree with the spiraling going on there yeah and this was the first drawing that uh this aspiring uh lines came to my mind and i mean i used them for the first time and uh so this was a story that it came from listening to the music which was for love and it's played like persian um format and uh but i had this connection with this uh music and then the story came and i start to draw that it's like love story so you're a musician, you're an artist of, of ink and colored pencil, watercolor a little bit maybe too, and chalk or yeah. And you are also a storyteller. You have these really wonderful stories and this is an illustration for one of your stories. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes. this one is Actually, yes. everything has a story. So, and for me uh, to show, uh, to draw or to sing is just there's a story in back of all of that and which come from our experience in life and i found this is a good way to express those stories the experience that i had to the stories yeah yes and it would tell us a little bit about your uh your background now you you're in germany right now but you you weren't born in germany where where did you come from where did you grow up yeah, I grew up in Iran, and uh, then I came to Germany. I studied here, and uh, before I studied, before I uh, I had experience with uh, painting. So for a while I did painting, but the um, style that I had was completely different from what I have already. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I was familiar with the drawing and painting, and um, yeah, but now I'm working as a digital media designer or UI UX designer. Mm. Uh, it's more digital, not. <laughs> yeah, so your, your life is just filled with creative opportunities here. Yeah. How did you end up in Germany? Um, just uh, I wanted to immigrate from Iran to somewhere else. Uh, you know, in Iran, there are so many challenges and um, most of the people uh, looking for a way to go out. And also yes. I wanted to follow what I like to do in freedom, not in limited situation. Yeah. So that was the best option. Well, I'm so glad that, that you're able to connect with me and others in the United States here where we are and share your talent. Let's go back and look at some more of your uh, illustrations here. And here, this one, I just love this. It's just so rich with detail here Sh share a little bit about this this was the um this was i was traveling and uh i was sad and completely sad of the situation i had and i was thinking why this life has why we should suffer all the time and is it's repeat and repeat then we overcome one problem and then again repeat <laughs> Then the, uh, in, my intuition told me is like a, this physical body is like um, a form that we have, but inside when we go through troubles, we are, uh, our wings are getting open and we can fly farther, mm. we, are, we get advanced. And it was interesting. I had uh, before, like one month before that trip, I had this form of circle and the wings around, but not the body. I had it and I don't know why it came to my mind. I just keep it. And when I was there and I start to complete this drawing and some of them come and then complete one month later and the story come later. And uh, so it was kind of make me calmer. Okay, 
if you have problem outside, you're growing. And so I start to draw it, yeah. Yeah, you know, you, this is just so incredible. And I, I love the, um, the, again, those swirling circles all over the place. Mm -hmm. and, and I want to ask you, you know, you said you were feeling kind of down and you drew that and about spreading your angel wings and everything and opening up. And so how important are the creative arts to you in helping you manage feelings? We all have feelings. We all have down days and um, it's part of being human. How important was that when you're feeling down and then to do that? You know, it's it has two different aspects for uh, for me drawing. There's some drawing just I express the feeling to get rid of them, but there are other uh, drawing is like I am I put myself away and I let the spirit flow in me. <laughs> so that's yes, really, yeah. I can that's... show one of one of the drawing which is uh, uh, with a circle on top, and uh, it's showing the feeling that I had in that moment and just like express it away like uh, yes that's a good point you know sometimes I, I agree with you 100 percent sometimes the drawing is an opportunity to let go of things and get it out maybe negative feeling and sometimes the drawing is an opportunity to focus on the positive or higher spiritual experience and then incorporate that and then doing that it, it, it becomes one with you yeah it, it depends on how you're using it yeah. yeah yeah but definitely when when i'm creative uh i really feel better after after each drawing that i do or singing is like we need to express ourselves we do <laughs> we down all the time yeah it's not necessary no it's not like that we should express ourselves otherwise we don't feel alive for me it's like you do the same with singing as well. You write original music. I've heard you sing. It's beautiful. And you write lyrics, um, okay. usually in your native tongue, though, as, as opposed to English. You write the songs and it, poetry. Yes. Well, let's go back and look at a few more here. Tell me about this one here now. This one was... Um... Uh, this is called Five Virtues, which is uh, symbols of showing each virtues. So from, um, from bottom, you can see the first virtue is listening. And second is detachment. Third is acceptance. Uh, fourth is patience. And the last is surrender, which I felt in that moment is most important one to surrender to everything and accept everything completely. So when you create this, does it take you deeper in contemplating these, you know, what, what you just told us, these five virtues, it takes you to a deeper contemplation of that yeah and uh, it's kind of that is kind of when i draw them is collective experience that i had before then in one point they want to express themselves to show themselves it's like i experienced some of them i mean it, all of them but not in in different level and uh but usually when I draw, I don't think they, it's come, the image come directly, and then I draw it. I think you do this in the group, I remember. Yeah, yeah. yeah this, you know, in our group, group and, you know, we, we turn off our cameras and we create, and then it's like surprise. Look what Nazanin did just in, in 40 minutes, you know. It's just wonderful. Uh, to, and I think it's a good lesson for all of us to just take time. You don't have to come to our group but just take time to yourselves and look what can be done you know just take some time close your eyes tune in and and whether it's singing or art or dancing or craft making whatever it is it, it's so important and look what you did i love it it's important as in it's important that we let ourselves be a draw or let it come it doesn't matter it's mm -hmm. perfect 
yeah. then we are more we are more free and let this spirit work through us and come. Yes. Okay, here we go. Oh, I love this. This is the one where you and I sang a song about it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That was really interesting. <laughs> okay, tell me about this. This one, uh, um, it was the train tracks. It, it was in my vision, the train tracks, and I just draw it, uh, a track that is going to the sky. It's like going to another dimension and freedom. And me and Jean together, <laughs> we uh, start to write a lyric, but we didn't work together. She did, so you did separately, and me separately, and then we match it together and work perfectly. It was interesting. <laughs> they were, we were separated, we wrote it separately, and then put it together. And it was interesting, yeah, kind of a fun, fun yeah, thing. It, it was really fun. I was surprised. What happened at then? Because I didn't. I didn't thought, and that's uh, amazing when we are creative. I mean, we open the end and something amazing can happen. You know, it's a challenge because here you are creating two, two different people creating something and then learning to bring it together is, is a good challenge. I think that's what life's all about, learning to work with other people. And it was fun. It was really fun. Yeah, that was really fun. I really it was really fun. And working together with melodies. I had one melody, you had a different melody, and we put them together. It was fun. Yeah. yeah. It was first song that I, I I put the lyric on. But sometimes some melody come to my mind. I record it by voice because I'm not a professional musician. I'm singer mostly. And um <laughs> it was I don't think you need me at all. It was just a fun exercise. Yeah, you you have all the melody inside you. You have everything. <laughs> it was fun though. Oh, and this is so beautiful. Two meditative souls. This one was um, about two uh, souls. Like if you see the bigger one is like a guru or master, someone or a guide or a leader can uh, guide the person and. Is like first connection they had in the inner through meditation. And it's like, um, for me, it was like really shiny, like thunder <laughs> and lightning, this uh, really important moment. And if you see, it's like yin and yang that uh, completing each other. Um, yes. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Oh, and this one is in, in the book the courageous creative conquerors collaborative art book it's beautiful and and what about okay we're just going to now we're just going to flip through because we're running out of time and i want to give you some time to share some tips to other people we're going to flip through some art here and this one this one amazing look at that heart with the flow coming out here and all of these were done this year, is that right? Or yeah. within a year? Around last year, from summer. From last summer. year and this year. Oh my gosh, yeah. This one was one of them that I told to express the feeling to let go. Yes, letting go. Yeah, by drawing, I felt I'm letting go. And this one, so beautiful. And another one. Just lovely, beautiful. Thank you so much for coming here and sharing your your artwork with us. And I just before we go, I want to invite you to speak right now to people out there that maybe you're feeling like I'm not an artist, I'm not a musician, I don't have anything to offer, and your artist journey, your creative. A courageous journey how do you get over that and how did you come to this place where you are now which when i think of you i just think of someone who's fearless and is just ready to just have fun and and do whatever it is whether it's writing a story drawing a picture writing a song singing you know around the house that's who you are you're not going to uh, analyze it with your mind you're just going to go and whatever it looks like you're going to accept it. So how did you get there? What advice do you have to some people out there? Um, 
uh, I can say it's as you said, it's like having fun. If we can have fun with something, we don't have fear. And when there is no fear, uh, then we are free to create whatever it comes. But when we want to create something that is perfect, and, and then we are not ourselves or copy other people, we are not ourselves. Like a children, oh. they don't think; they just draw whatever they like, and as they look, and it's it's unique for each child. The drawing is is unique, really. Yeah. That's a good point. Have fun. Just let it go. Just be you. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, and do you sometimes start with a theme, like you have something in mind and you want to create it, or do you just... In this uh, art collection that I recently started, no, I don't plan, but I live my life. And then when I sit, I just do meditation. And this meditation lets me, whatever a experience or image I have, it come in that moment. Mm -hmm. uh, but sometimes I go to nature and I just draw nature because uh, it has a spiritual context, but it's just giving me a feeling that be out of mind and free, and uh, I'm doing that also. That's a good tip. Getting out in nature helps, I think, stimulate a creative flow. Yeah, very good. And you mentioned photography. Sometimes you'll take some photographs and then look at that. Does, does that help you with either writing a song or story when you take photographs or to draw from the photograph? Yeah, and uh, the, this uh, photos that I take usually in that moment that I take is like a feeling. It tell me, okay, take this photo, <laughs> and then yeah. later, then I the story. Uh, I have a story, but not in that moment. But sometimes I go to nature. I can suggest recommend to people do this. Just go uh, to nature, it doesn't matter, you be singer, because we have voice, we have the voice that we talk, it's, it's a voice, and um, it's a sound, and if we go to nature, just listen, I usually go to nature alone, because it's, it's, it uh, helped me to connect better, and yes. uh, the nature, and just hear the sound around the nature, feel the tree, feel the, the ground, and everything, and uh, try to um, uh, sing with that. It doesn't matter if it looks good or just let the voice from you come uh, um, out and then you feel, uh, feel uh, I mean, the feeling is really important. And then you know how to express yourself. It's for someone could be writing a story, for someone is singing and drawing or just get the energy and later... <laughs> That's lovely. You mentioned earlier about singing your your mantra and in the spirituality. Uh, how important is that? Is that something that before you start drawing, you do that? Yeah, uh, so that's really important because when we are in mind, uh, mind doesn't let us to be ourselves and to connect to this free spirit that wants to express through us and. That's why I do meditation and uh, sing the hue, which is the name of the uh, um, God, and um, just clean this channel and whatever. This yes. Week. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I really loved um, getting to know you better and, and seeing all your beautiful illustrations. And thank you for your advice for other creative uh, listeners out there. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really enjoyed talking with you. Thank you for everything. <laughs> You're very welcome. Thank you. And thank all of you for showing up today and supporting Nazani and supporting the creative arts. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> to see more Courageous Creative Conquerors videos, join the weekly Creative Community Calls or learn more about private sessions, visit genevoicedart.com.